Guten Morgen, ich bin James York and welcome to Cozy Languages. This is my own challenge of learning languages and this time I learn Deutsch, German. Tag 5, day 5 already. Today I work for one hour and I'm going to continue working with the second part of the song Anushka. As always, I'm going to read you and then we'll discuss. Deine Augen, kleine Anushka. Sind voll Tränen, kleine Anushka. Doch die Welt ist weit, es während die Zeit, Tränen trocknet der Wind. Just for you to remember that the yellow color, these are the words that I already know, and the grammatical points as well. Deine Augen, your eyes, kleine Anushka, little Anushka. And here we have the word Auge, eyes, which is actually neuter. So it would be das Auge, an eye, and die Augen, eyes. Sind voll Tränen, kleine Anushka, a full of tears, little Anushka. So I think Tränen, it is the case, but I don't really understand which one. And I think with the next song, I am going to focus on words and nouns and how do they change according to the cases. So, a full of tears, Tränen, tears, well, very useful word. So it is the feminine, dir Träne and dir Tränen. Question that I ask myself, why do we preserve the A with little dots? I don't understand this one. Doch die weit ist weit, es wärin dir Zeit. Doch, at this moment, I have to take this doch, because for the third time it is but, and I've taken this one as well. Dir Welt. The world, beautiful word, white, big. So, white, I can say this one with white in English, adjective, very useful one, es während dir Zeit. So, I've taken the word dir Zeit, the time. Trennen trocknet, and tears will be dried. Well, der Wind, the wind. And I've taken the word the wind. Next one. Wenn es dir wahre Liebe ist, wird alles wieder gut. Dann kommt er auch zurück, denn er denkt an dich, immer zu an dich. So viel Freude, kleine Anushka, wirst du haben, kleine Anushka, wenn der Frühling kommt, wenn die Blumen blühen, euer Leben beginnt. So, and let's analyze this one. Wenn es dir wahre Liebe ist, if it's true love. Well, in that case, I've taken the phrase, die wahre Liebe, true love. Wird alles wieder gut. Everything will turn out fine. So, we remember wieder, the word back. Wird alles gut. So, I've taken this phrase, wird alles gut. And as well, wird, this is the verb, werden which is translated as to become, but it is used as well as an auxiliary verb to show the future. As well, I've taken the word Alice, Alice, everything, and good, fine, or good, and at this moment I wanted to find how I'm going to say actually bad. So, gut, good, schlecht, bad. Dann kommt er auch zurück, then he will come back, in that case, we see the word done, useful one, then. Auch zurück, I didn't really understand why in that case we do not say kommen wieder, but auch zurück. And er denkt an dich, immer zu an dich. Because he is thinking of you, always of you. Then, because, another useful word. And the verb to think, denkt, it is the verb denken, to think. And Ima, always, at this moment, I wanted to find how we're going to say then always, often, sometimes, and never. Ima, always, oft, often, and at this moment, I've understood that, okay, if we see the ending en in English, like with often, and like with children, for example, it is a German word. Manchmal. It is sometimes and near, never. Wirst du haben, kleine Anushka. You will have, little Anushka. Once again, wirst, this is the verb, 
werden, which is used as will to show the future, do haben, haben, another useful verb, to have. Next, wenn der Frühling kommt, when spring comes, wenn die Blumen blühen, when flowers bloom, euer Leben beginnt. Your lives will begin. It refers not to Anushka, but to everybody. What do we see over here? Oer and begint. Well, the verb begint, beginnen, and oer, your. Beautiful possessive adjectives in German. And let's see. So, ich, meine, meine. Du, dein, deine. Er, sein, seine. Sie, ihr, ihre. Es, same as er, sein, seine. Wir, unser. Ihr, euer. Sie, ihr. So, these are possessive adjectives. After this, I wanted to focus on verbs and how we're going to conjugate because we have a lot of verbs actually now. And I've conjugated some of them. These are werden, become, denken, to think, haben, to have, and müssen, we've seen this verb yesterday, to need. Let's start with werden, to become. Ich werde, du wirst, er, sie, es wird, wir werden, ihr werdet, sie werden. It is irregular, like sein, like wissen, as far as I understand it. Next, denken, ich denke, du denkst. Er, sie, es denkt, wir denken, ihr denkt, and sie denken. This one is conjugated the same way as tanzen, kommen, and etc. Next, haben, ich habe, du hast, er, sie, es hat, wir haben, ihr habt, and sie haben. And müssen, to need, ich muss, be careful, du musst, er, sie, es muss, wir müssen, ihr müsst, sie müssen. So, another irregular verb. So, what can I say so far? So, the form of wir and sie, as far as I understand, it doesn't matter whether it is regular or irregular verb, it will stay the same as the infinitive. Wir and sie, werden, denken, haben, müssen. And I want to come back to the verb wieder kommen. Remember yesterday I asked why do we say wieder kommen? When we conjugate the verb, the word wieder goes after the verb. So it is very interesting. So now I will show you what I learned with the song Anushka by Inga Brück. So I've learned three adjectives. White, white or big. Good, good, schlecht, bad. As well as some verbs, weinen, to cry, wiederkommen, to come back, müssen, to need, and as well the negation müssen plus nicht plus infinitive, denken, to think, werden, to become, or as an auxiliary verb, will, haben, to have, beginnen, to begin. As well as Four seasons, der Winter, der Frühling, der Sommer, der Herbst, and adverbs of frequency like immer, oft, manchmal, nie. And two beautiful phrases like dir wahre Liebe, true love, and wir all is good. Everything will be good. Then some random phrases like wenn, when, doch, finally, <laughs> but, Done, then, and then, because die Blume, flower, die Welt, world, die Zeit, time, der Wind, wind, die Träne, Tier, das Auge, and I. And two numbers, Lektion 4 and Lektion 5. Well, I wanted to find the question words for our cases. So, I know 100% that wessen it is whose, and was it is what, but still I don't know the difference between wer, wenn, and wem. If you are a German speaker, I want you to write, maybe you'll help me. 
and as well I've taken the preposition by in this song which is used in only dative. Next I've analyzed our adjectives. So remember we have three types of adjectives weak, strong and mixed and they change in nominative case due to the gender and whether it is singular or plural. As well now I know possessive adjectives it's like my, your, his, her, its, our, your and their. So these are the things that I learned so far with only this song. Okay, and now I start to get into German, German grammar. Tomorrow I'm going to start analyzing a new song. I don't know for now which one exactly, but I work only for 30 minutes tomorrow. So it means that I will analyze for sure like only one part of the song. Or if it will be quite easy, then I will analyze the whole song only tomorrow. So we'll see, we'll see. And thank you very much. If you like the video, push a little like button and do not forget to subscribe. And see you tomorrow. Cheers!